Hello everyone, this is Man in the Black Hat. And Game Collector. And we're headed to the sky for more Skyward Sword. First look on Rezowalkers.com. Okay, are you sure this is Skyward Sword or Skyrim Sword? Skyward Sword, I said it correctly. Okay, good. Just double check it. Yes, I know. I've got two Legend of Zelda games and Skyrim going at the same time. But that's okay. So I'm me. I can handle it. All get blended together at one point. Yeah, well, I'm getting better at distinguishing Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword. A little better. Um... Oh, Unfortunately, Blip does not seem to like me uploading MP4s and makes it so it's monstrously long to load. So, if you're having issues with my videos when I've uploaded them as MP4s first, go ahead and go to the YouTube site. It'll fix the problem. That's why I keep the YouTube site as my backup. And it's also why I don't have ads on it. Hey, look! We can improve our shield! Yay! Yes! Improve the damn shield. Okay. Make it not suck. Well, make it not suck a little less. Because if you remember, that thing has less energy than the level 1 wooden shield. Yeah. So now our divine shield is upgraded and it's more durable. By a little bit. A little bit. And we need a bird feather, three bird feathers, three monster horns, and four dusk relics. Bird feathers I can get whenever. Monster horns I can get whenever, actually. Oh, almost whenever. Well, dusk I know where to go to grind those, so. And dusk I. Dusk relics a little bit harder. And I need three tumbleweeds. Oh. So, okay. I'm going to equip that shield and use it for now until I get a better shield. Which is to say the upgraded version of this shield. Oh, he's got something new. What? Oh. <laughs> Aha! I've got something new in stock for you, friend. It's a very mysterious shield called a sacred shield. I suggest you linger and give it a good look. I've already got one, you dick. Dick cheese? Well, he's apparently too stupid to know that you bought it from him already. Yeah, no kidding. Either that or they really didn't program these guys with many dialogue options. I think that might be the case. Okay, so... Better shield? Yay. And oh hey, we got something new that we can go grab that we didn't grab last time because you know we didn't. No. Oh, Assassin's Link. Skyward Creed. Ow. Mm -hmm. Yay. And let's see what we got out of this goddess box. We've got a silver rupee worth a hundred rupees. Unlike its counterpart in Wind Waker. Which is only yep. really... I think you add a zero. Oh. Yeah. They were supposed to be like the ridic the redonkulous numbered rupees, and I don't think gold rupees existed in that one. No, they did. No, no, wait, I think they did, but they but they filled their wallet up, I think, half day. Yeah, something like. It was some ridiculous amount. So, we're going in this direction for some weird reason. Honestly, it's been a while since I've played this episode, so... Whoa! Crud! Crud, 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 crud! Oh, no, 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 no! Whistle! Whew. Save the day. Bird. And let's see if we can get that going. No, darn it. No, you, I, I don't think you'll be able to do it until you get the upgraded dash. We'll see. 
Every time I have to come back here, I'm gonna keep trying. And... Oh! That's why we're coming over here. We're gonna get that one, and then we're gonna get the one next to... That guy's that, place. That badass. That badass guy who plays is so awesome. Yeah, Mr. Awesome. Nice and common here for being a huge storm cell. Commonly referred to as a thunderhead. Yeah, or a thunderhead dome, considering the shape of it. Yup. Welcome to Thunderhead Dome. Mad Link. Ow. And naturally, he lands on his face. Of course. Why wouldn't I? Ooh, hello, treasure chest that I didn't know was here. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Hey, we got a monster horn. Oh, that cuts down on what I need to get. Yeah, don't you need one of those? I need your thing? three of those. I have three of those. And I need three bird feathers as well. Remember how we what? upgraded this? Check this out. Boom! Shotgun. Yeah, and each one of those is only uses one seed color. Yup. So worth it. So worth keeping this thing around. It also means you don't need a seed pouch anymore. <laughs> pretty much. If you're good at aiming, you can pretty much take these things out with one shot. And take out, I mean, take out a group of them with one shot. Ugh, I feel silly. Because of the increased radius. Yep. Yup. There we go. Although, granted, because it's a scatter shotgun now, the scatter sling shotgun now. Hey, we got the rupee medal. Sweet. Yay! You now have now if you equip this in the treasure medal, you have the effects of the cursed medal. Without, without the, curse. the curse, yes. But if you added the cursed metal, you could basically stack them. Yes, this is true. But no shield. Mm -hmm. Well, this is this is why you must go to Piccolo's school of dodge. Wait, what? You know that thing that Gohan didn't learn properly. The thing that I don't learn properly either. Okay, Gohan. Right. Except I'm not a wordy bastard like he is. Okay, time to make one last stop. And then I think it'll be time to continue on our way. Yes, another half episode of wasting time before plot comes into motion. Well, we're not really wasting time, are we? We're getting stuff that's useful. This is true. Time isn't wasted if you're having fun wasting it. <laughs> Time isn't wasted if you're not wasting it, period. Again, okay. so true. Let's see here. Oh, no, 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 no. No, you don't. Oh, no. Unfortunately, there's no stones right in the way, so I have to go this slow. Damn it, bird! Why can't you have a propeller or a jet engine attached to you? Because they haven't invented them? Oh, wait. That's no excuse. That's not, that's not entirely true. Look at Beetle's shop. Yeah. Of course, that's helicopter technology. Okay, and airdropping a link now. Participating in squirrel catching mini game now. Sort of. Well, okay, yeah. Whee. Catch them squirrels. Uh, Gotta catch them all. Uh, totally not uh, on. Uh, uh, come on, one more. Uh, yeah, twenty rupees. Twenty rupees for catching squirrels. And like a boss. No, that's not like a boss. Hey, I went. Like I went nosedive first. 
still counts. If you want to do it like a boss, then you would have known his dive the whole way. True. 300 rupees! So, 400 rupees total from... No, 500 rupees total from this. No, 400. My bad. I'm... Derp. Hey, Don't mind me. Uh, where did the... I was wondering where the extra hundred came from. Can you explain that? No. Well, technically it's 420. True, but I wasn't counting the 20 I got from the squirrels. You know how squirrels in real life like to chase you around and be obnoxious and drop crap on your lawn? These uh. squirrels are nice. They give you free money. So I gotta wonder if they spend all of their time just flying around. Or even if they're capable of powered flight, they may be just gliders. Well, here's the thing. You will pass by certain places, and you'll see them just floating in a circle. Huh. And drop. So, I just use the Legend of Zelda excuse for everything. It's magic. Do you believe in magic? Not singing the rest of that song. No, because you're going to get some money coin. Yes. Because, let's see. Welcome, my darling. I've been waiting for you. You can trust me with anything, Kitty stuff. Anything you want me to hold on to? Zip. Hope you're not in a hurry to go, sweetie. Okay. We want to move this one down because we actually don't really need it. See you next time. And there we go. What? Wait. There we go. All right. Ha! Huh. I think we're ready to venture forth. Finally. Venture forth into adventure. Well, we might venture forth, but uh, at least we're not in fifth place. And half my audience just unsubscribed. Well, that's the sound of unsubscribing for you. Yep. And now we're not going to adventure, apparently. Apparently we're going to go futz around inside the cave. Yes. I totally don't to recall do why we did this. I'm sure it will occur to me eventually. <laughs> I just oh, robster cross. What do we need the robster craw for? I don't know. I don't remember. Ah! Get off! I don't like you in that way. I said get off. Jerk. Goobers. Okay, maybe we don't want robster craw. Yeah, it's been a while since we did this, so not even we're entirely sure what what Link's doing. Yeah. Remember the days when I did live recording? What? <laughs> okay. Oh. I get it. I think I'm just porting around trying to find gems and whatnot. Why do you need to put uh, Apparently we were just doing this Ooh, to waste Craw. time. Yay, Robster Craw! Oh, I bet I know. I probably need it for the net. No, the net you need sealed evil in a rock, ancient flower, and tumbleweeds. Hmm. More robster cross. 
I am slightly confused. I know we had a reason for this. We usually do, but we don't always remember what the reason is. Because, well, what happens is we record so much that, well, stuff like this happens. We usually wind up recording about four to six hours of footage per week. And we don't get around to actually doing the voiceover work until it needs done. So usually during the week, recording that last minute day, voice acting, voiceover. Yeah, pretty much. So by the time we voice over all of the stuff, we've completely forgotten most of what we did, especially the non-plot related stuff. Yeah, pretty much. So, sorry about this, guys. I have no idea why I'm doing any of this. But I'm sure it will be important later. Well, since Link seems to be farting around for no reason, we can talk about news. Ooh, hey, money. Like what? Well, in the month of July, I will be moving. So... So, my Let's Play schedule will not be impeded by this unless it goes past two weeks, in which case you're going to miss a couple episodes. But by the time I move, I will have two weeks worth of footage preloaded onto my Blip site and ready to upload on Rezo Walkthroughs when the time comes. The YouTube side of things will be all set to private until I actually get back on the internet. So, there you go. That way, you guys will know exactly when I get back. I expect to have Twilight Princess completely finished and uploaded by then. Except for the bonus content. Yeah, bonus content is bonus content. That comes whenever he wants it to. I make no promises about when I upload bonus content. Ah! Oh, I think I know why we did that. I wanted to buy stuff from Beetle. But what were the Monster Cross for? I think those were just incidental. Yeah, they were. Because so, you wanted to get something awesome. Yeah, now I'm remembering. And not only is it awesome, you also kind of need it. Yep, because we're getting our final pouch. I remembered! Oh! oh! I remember, God! Yay, adventure pouch! It's the last one, so it's a little expensive. 1,200 rupees. I need it. Most, this is not even the most expensive thing he has in his store. Nope. But this gives us our final adventure pouch slot. And it only took you the first the first three dungeons of the game to get it. Yeah. Mostly because I kept putting it off. Because I wanted other stuff. Usually it's a good idea to get the pouches first. True. But we've made do without it for pretty well so far. Yep. But now we actually kind of do need it. Which means you're probably going to go get stuff to put stuff in it. Yup. Which like, means maybe... I'm not doing the voice for her this time. Uh -huh. No. Yeah, because yeah. she says the same thing every time you visit, but... You go off the island and come back on, she says something different. So, we want the heart metal back. And, and probably that bottle of purple juice. I don't think we get it this time, but I do get my bottle back eventually. <laughs> oh, I remember when I get that bottle back. Because of herpa derp. Yeah. Yeah. Because what do you need the metal shield for when you have a self-repairing purple shield? 
Yeah. Now I recall when that particular one happened, and that'll be next Monday. You guys will get to see that. Because of herp dirt. Though, of course, if you're seeing this well after this series has ended, you'll see it in two episodes. So, good luck with that. And now you dive back into the green place. Yep, because we're not done with this area. Not yet. Although, all of my frustration from the first time I did the whole water swimmy thing is now pretty much gone. Yay! Link is an elite Halo jumper. Yay! At least he's not a grunt. Or a marine. Well, we are going to a marine environment. But not that type of marine with the uh, paper mache armor. <laughs> okay, so we're back in Lake Floria. Lake Flora. And you're not. And you're not angry anymore. No, I'm actually fairly calm at this point. So let's see what we got. That last episode was real painful. Ooh, goddess plume. So valuable. Can you fill your wallet in a matter of seconds? Oh, yeah. I don't know also, if we need more goddess plumes for anything but money. We'll see. Well, actually, you just need two or three. And that's for another item you'll be getting. Not in this upcoming dungeon, but the dungeon after it. Ah. Ah! Oh, God, it's like they're. Boogers. Jelly blob. Happy, happy jelly blob. I've got a veritable bevy of jelly blobs. <laughs> Gotta catch them all. Uh-oh, Cuisinart art time. It's a ceiling booger. Ew. <laughs> ah, get off. If you manage to send them into the water, they kind of just... Out. Dissolve instantly. You know, like Alka Seltzer. More like jello in hot water. We found the goddess cube. Not to be confused with the GameCube. Um, never mind, Fee. I didn't mean to call you. I didn't mean to call you. It was an accident. My finger slipped. Yeah. Ooh, Amber Relic. Like, you really need more of those. Of course I do. They're pretty. And pretty good for money. Yep. Surprisingly good, actually. Uh, you can find them anywhere, and there are a lot of them. And they're and worth yeah. a lot of money. And now you follow your squid buddy again. Yay, squiddy buddy. Squiddy blubby. Well, at least he's not Octodad. Although, I might see if I can download that game. See what it's all about. Dr. Octagonopus? Octodad, yeah. Okay, aim up and whee! They call him Flipper, Flipper. What? Is that don't fish? Yes. Yikes! Oh, they're back! This one fish that brought... I forgot his voice. It was akin to talking like a mermaid. Okay. Yeah, it was the Octodad voice. Gotcha. Ah, right. I kind of like Sylvester Stallone talking underwater. Yes. I remembered his voice! Oh my god! Okay, he so remembered. we go... I... Pound the fish on the X, right? Dong. Dong. 
Two hits and you win. The glitter is even though none of the people using the glitter. Now you make it to the door. Door. <laughs> so we killed the dorkfish, and now we get to go to the door. Oh, look, we're here. It's a closed door with a lock on it. Oh, look, the Lord, the lock is in the head. Hang on a second. What? Well, He's a this key fish. A key squid. Octo key. But that reason his head is a key might explain why his head is all red and inflamed. Look at the moon. That might explain a few things. Yeah. It also explains the derpiness. Drain Bramage. Yep. And now you're in the big water room place. Yeah. Thing. Yes. So now we need to play Flipper and... Oh, wait. We don't need to play Flipper. We can just call ourselves out of the water. Yay! Ah! You there, human! You have intruded into my home, a sacred place few are permitted to enter. This is no place for one such as you, and yet here you stand. You will explain how you got here, and quickly. Uh, Water Dragon? Hmm. I am. Those with manners address me as Felon, Warden of the Woods. I was appointed by the goddess herself. Though my current stature is less than, well, intimidating, shall we say, know that you stand in the presence of a loyal servant of the goddess. Huh? I say, that's one of my scales you have there. A sacred gift such as that could only be carried by the goddess's chosen hero, but could you really be him? This raises questions. Even with that scale in your possession, finding my hole is no easy task. How did you find me? <laughs> ah, yes. That cackling old hermit Kikwi told you where I live, didn't he? Honestly, I can't remember how many times I've told that scruffy thing to keep his mouth shut. That's the last straw. Next time I see him, he's dinner. Oh, but I digest. You all come here to seek in a sacred flame, haven't you? Yeah, no kidding. I knew it. But I'll be straight with you. A shrimpy boy like you hardly looks the part of the goddess's chosen hero. There's no doubt about it. A test is in order to prove you're everything you say you are. Shortly before your arrival, I was attacked by a pompous creature calling himself Giriam. I stood against the self-proclaimed demon lord, but I was wounded in the encounter. The wounds he's given me are stubborn things I have been forced to recuperate in this basin of sacred water. Unfortunately, the healing properties of the sacred water have diminished, and I am now in need of another dose to freshen my healing bath. Bring me a container of fresh sacred water that I require. Do me this favor, and I'll gladly show you where to find the sacred flame you desire. What do you say? Sure. Okay. Sweet. Yay! We're gonna need an extra bottle. And we gotta go back to the sky. Lovely. Yeah. If you'll continue down this way, you'll find an exit back to the woods. Oh. Excellent. Now run along. One does not keep a dragon waiting. Yes, yes I do. Okay. Now we make two, two minor stops before we leave. Yeah. And you turn on the dowsing just to shut me up. Yeah. Let's see. Is that what? the one? We're using oh, Recon Beetle it? for its actual purpose. Oh. Recon Beetle! Oh. Um, there are two boxes. Yay, Skull. I'ma drop it. I'ma drop it on the dragon. Are you really? Maybe. Yeah. 
baby. Really? No. Well, almost. <laughs> I troll all anyway. the dragon. Anyway, considering that Virium just made it shrink, you know how he likes to make threats and say he's gonna kill you horribly? Uh-huh. And then he doesn't? Yes. I give you hollow threat villain. Well, yeah. I'm not, gonna call, I'm not gonna call him that Frieza anymore. I'm just gonna call him hollow threat villain. He's an 80s villain. That's what they all do. But the thing is, he's not supposed to be taken like an 80s villain. Don't care. Gr granted, his boss is much worse. And actually legitimately <laughs> threatening. Huh. Okay, we're going over this side because treasure chest. Let's see what we got in here. What do we got? We got... There's where that extra hundred rupees was hiding. Yay! I knew it was around here somewhere. And then you get another 300. Tonight we dine in hell? This is not yet Hyrule! <laughs> okay, I think we got one more treasure chest or something to grab before we head on out. Yes. And it's around this side. We will eventually get there. There it is! A box. What's inside the box? Opening the box. It is Evil Concentrate. Evil, also not from Concentrate. Ow. Pick your words wisely, otherwise the puns will hurt worse. Eh. I like puns. Let's play! 10% commentary, 90% bad puns. Damn right. Cause what would a let's play be without bad puns? Oh look! Butterflies! I wonder what I should do here. Play heart, play heart, play a heart. And then use the net. Use the net and then play the heart. Or bang. Ooh, Robster Craw. More Robster Craw? Ooh. Grasshopper. Hoppa! Oh, yes, young Grasshopper. Got him! One, Farron Grasshopper. Yay! They're worth 40 rupees each. Yeah, especially since we don't need bugs anymore. No, you're just there for money. And now, for even more money, you're going the wrong way. I wanted to see what was over here. It's a pack out. Ah. So, turn his ass around and fire the beetle. Okay. And that was the height limit. So you kinda have to use the turbo boost. Come on. There it is, and... Yes! Got it! 300 rupees! Just kinda sitting around in the backyard of a water dragon. So, 800 rupees total? I think? Well, from all of the Rupee finds, yes. Okay, cool. Nope, can't go that way yet. Also, there's a goddess cube above you. Yeah, I, I see where I need to latch on, so... But you won't be able to get that for a little while now. Alright, let's... Talk to the goddess mm -hmm. cube. Or, wait, yeah, I wanted to see where this led. Because it's important that you go this way before you go back to the bird. Yeah. 
Because giant log. Yep. What is it be? What is it be? Ah, back in Baron Woods. Gotcha. Yes, because, you know, we totally didn't expect it to go this way. Also, giant logs ain't going to push themselves. Well, they would if we had giant logs that push themselves, but oh well. Hey, it's a fat guy. Wow. Is that the best you could do, Fatty? Ow. Okay, that was definitely better. Die already! Okay, that works. I don't know, are those hearts even healthy to eat? They must be high in cholesterol, considering they come from fat guys like that. Unless he has three hearts inside of him. Not all of them would be his, then. Ah. Bird catching time. Bird! Bird is the word. Bird, 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 bird is the word. Yay! That's one. And one bird feather, yes. And I think you need three. Something like I think, yeah. Yeah. Hello. Two more. Do -ba -do -ba -do -do. Come on, birds, respawn. Come on, fly back down. Oh, fly hello. back down so you can... Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Oh! Oh! Darn it. Also, I just realized, the Deku Babas kind of look like the plant from Little Shop of Horrors. Yes. Why it took me so long to realize this, I don't know. Because derp? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Being very extra super mig crud. Birds are hard to catch. <sighs> Granted, so are certain bugs. Yeah. Birds are just a little bit more obnoxious, though. Darn it! <laughs> Don't worry, he, he, he manages to get some. Birds. This isn't... This, this isn't like the swimming portion no. of the trip. No, it's not. This is just slightly aggravating because I get a little too quick on the draw sometimes. Because there's must be quick, careful. There's quick draw and then there's ultra quick draw. Yay, that's two. Yay, one more. Once more and we can stop screwing around. And, you know, advance the plot. But granted, this entire portion of the plot is based around screwing around anyway. Pretty much. Because if you remember, I told him that he has to go back to a dungeon. Guess what he's going to do? Go back to a dungeon. Yes. Got it! And this is the... Yay! And this is the only legitimate time during the game where the game actually tells you, Go back into this dungeon! Yeah. In any Zelda game. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I have been doing a practice run of Link to the Past. Uh, ow. I'm going to see if I can't actually finish the game in practice run, and then I'll actually go and finish the game for real. Oh, yes, and just to show you, the shield's healing ability in motion. Yep. There you go. And, to be quite honest, it actually fixes itself rather quickly. Yeah, which is nice. But considering now that it has more stam- about as much stamina as maybe the level 1 shield, level 1 wooden shield by now, it's- yeah, it's safe to you. Yep. Also, you need to get some monster on. And die. Monster horny. I mean, horn. It's like human horn from Futurama. 
You're just saying what I was thinking. Get out of my head. No. You are not the brain spawn. <laughs> hey, fatty. Your shield sucks. So you know. Dude, do some laps. Dude, Ow. And you need to learn how to dodge. I don't wanna. I got a shield. I can hide behind it. Granted, shield's barely the size of my torso, but oh well. That is kind of an unusual thing. Link's shield is smaller than he is, but it can pretty much guard him from everything. Everything to the front. Yeah. This isn't the magical shield shield gem thing from Wind Waker. Right no. Nor is it the magical suit of armor from Twilight Princess. No, but that would be kind of awesome. Yeah, it would be. And just die already. Oh! We need those. And you bugs can bugger off. Get the pose! Dang it! <sighs> you know what? You're next. I died. Wow. I did deflect it with my sword. Told you it could be done. True. But it can be done. Alright. Be sufficiently scared off. My god, be Why can't I kill these things? Because it's not a bush. Is it Clinton? No. Aww. But I'm sure I'm sure a lot more people would have rather seen well. I'm not sure if I should finish that sentence, even though there are probably people going, Yes! Finish it! Finish it! No, we're not gonna finish it. Because it's time for And I got dancing jello. Lovely. Like, you really needed more of that. This side. <clears throat> oh, pardon me. You know what? I'm gonna deal with that guy. No, we're gonna go into the temple and then wait. I'm not sure if you have your cognitive real. No, you don't have the cognitive realization yet. I forgot. Dark, dark. Sacred water within the temple is not possible to use your doubt. You don't say. Deepest part of the temple complex. Had to. Yeah, it's at the end of the dungeon. So we have to run all the way back through the dungeon to get to the water, which you forgot to get the bottle for. Yep. There's a herpader. And though there are times where he doesn't herp a derp, sometimes he goes herp a derp because he doesn't listen. What do you say? I hope you hear my point now. What? Sorry, I wasn't listening. I wasn't talking to you when you weren't listening anyway. Ooh, hello. Diggy! Really? Could be worse. What the? Could have gotten absolutely nothing. Hi. Oh, oh the you that guy. That guy I met in the volcano. Oh. Here to do some oh, treasure yeah. hunting too? Yup. Ah. I called it. You got treasure hunter written all over your face. <laughs> Did the big stone guy out there tip you off to the loot? Uh. Stone guy? 
Uh, yeah, what do you say again? Strum a chord most beautiful in the place within the temple where the butterflies dance. <laughs> so I get here and I let loose with some of the most gorgeous humming I've done in my entire life in other mammals. But seeing as how I've come this far, there's no chance I'm going to give up hunting for treasure just yet. That's a hint. When you did that voice, you sounded like Cajun Park. That's fine. That's kind of what I was going for. Uh, whoa there, buddy. I bet you think you're going to run ahead and swipe all the best treasure for yourself. Aww. But I say you're setting yourself up for big time disappointment. Just because some weird design popped up on a wall doesn't mean you're any closer to finding treasure, all right? <laughs> I think you've been had by that boulder with legs. Huh? Stay here if you want. I'm gonna go out ahead. That's okay. We really didn't come here for treasure anyway. Now... Would you mind describing for them exactly what those wall thingies do? Yeah, the goddess walls, when... If you people remember when he drew the giant circle, it's pretty much what you do. But instead of drawing a circle, draw a rupee, get some rupees. Draw a heart, get some hearts. Or if you do the magnificently impossible and manage to draw the Triforce in one go, it gives you fairies. But it's so meticulous, it's so specific in what it wants the Triforce to look like. If you don't get it right, it just poops out three hearts. Yeah, so it at least gives you something. I try that out in a future episode, so don't worry. You will actually get to see it. Go away. Go fall in some water and die. Ew. Knock it off. Ow. Silence. I knew you! Here we go. Shotgun. Shotgun! Oh. That will! What? The heck? This door be locked! Again! You don't say, Fee! We didn't notice! What the hell? Okay, you know what? Die. Thank you. Thank you, Beetle. You die too. You sacrificed your indestructibility for us. No, wait, you didn't. He's still indestructible. Oh, hello. Ooh, look, ammo for your sling shotgun. I'll take that. The opening door. Opening door. Oh. Oh, I know what I did here. Just fantastic. I work like a weasel, just swipe a key from that monster, and then I have to go and lose it. I just can't remember which hole I hid it in. Ah, <laughs> oh, and here I thought the key would be my ticket to a life of luxury. I could have sworn I buried it right around here. Yes, he did. Except not, in, except not in that hole specifically. Nope, but I'm gonna dig in it. Diggy diggy hole? Because diggy hole. And five frickin' rupees. Well, it's better than finding one frickin' rupee. True. Hey, Gleelock. Well, you don't have to fight it, but you can later. True. And Gleelocks are worth 20 rupees a pop. So, hey, worth it. Worth the monies! And now you go under the waters. Go die. Go die in a river. Mmm, air. Yummy, yummy air. And up we go. Because it's right here. Yep. Yay! It's a yeah, it's not random. Just so you guys know, and the reason I know that is Game Collector. Yeah, three, three human walkthrough. 
because he finished this long before I even got to this point. Yeah, I kind of finished it within the first week. Yeah. He did that for Halo Reach, too. I'm, I'm just awesome that. Or insane. Or both. Ooh, Gilak. Time for my rupees. Time for some free get, money. Get, 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 Stop going vertical. Horizontal. That's the way we kill a Gleelock. Yep. For some reason, it wasn't reading my side to side motion. Sometimes the Wiimote likes to go low, nope. Yeah, that's the fuck off. Yep, that's what I did. You wasted a fairy, you stupid, stupid. I did not waste a fairy. If you hadn't noticed, we hit what the. If you hadn't noticed, the fairy was used to heal my hearts. So, it was actually used for a purpose. And Gilak gonna die. Kaboom! Kerboom! Wow. Run! Run for free money! Or try for free money! Same thing! We. Also, here's that trick that he really kind of failed on the first time around. Yep. But now that he has a fully upgraded battle, yep. it's really not impossible. Though so it's much easier to get on uh, multiple paths. And yeah, I heard yeah. something drop too, but oh well. Well, that's the way of the mid boss. No, mid boss was in the center of this area. Yep. Okay, this is actually practice for a later dungeon, believe it or not. Yeah. But you do it so early on, because you do this in the first run, at, right after you get the beetle, and then after you upgrade it, you can do it again for free money. Yep. But yeah, Why? It kind of is a... It kind of is a practice run for what's to come. Yep. So this game, you can't say this game doesn't give you practice. And a Ever. lot of it. Oh, 20! Worth it. Totally worth it to reach a dead end. Okay. Am I done screwing around? Yes. No. No. Yes. No. Ah. Case. In point? No case in fairy. Darn it. Which reminds me, I didn't need to go all the way to the fairy spring later on. No, but you did anyway. Yep. Okay, I think we're done with this area. No, oh, we're not. Wait! No! Because I'm going to break the box open to get free money. I asked a very important question here as well, I believe. Not yet, you didn't. Because you're still going after that box of money. Ooh, box of money. Box of money. 20 rupees. And this brings up a third question. You know how I ah, uh, here's where you ask the important question. How do I get that? I want my lunchbox! How do I get it? Well, here's how. Fire down here straight up. And... 
it all the way to the top, but it's pretty close to the top. It's pretty much at your flying height oh, limit. Nip miss! Try that again. No, but here's that question again. And I'm going to add a third person in here. Who's greedier, Link, Wario, or Scrooge McDuck? Um. Hmm. Legitimate question is legitimate. I would have to say Scrooge McDuck. Because, for the simple reason that Scrooge McDuck is susceptible to gold fever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Which means... Mario comes in second place. Yep, with Link in third. These guys are clueless. Ow. And, yeah, he finally notices the bomb and then he loses it seconds later. No, I was trying, I just failed. Drop. Boom. They tried so hard to have their vengeance on me. Didn't work. LOL fail. And unfortunately for the monsters, they could not stop me from going through that door because once the lock's used, it's used. Sheesh. I dig some serious miles to get my paws on treasure and I found squat. Talk about bad luck. I think some no good thief beat me to the goods, but there's nothing here but water now. Who in the stinking world will come all this way for water? Nobody. That's who. Plot point. I'm cutting my losses and heading home. See ya. Okay. There's a reason there's hearts there. What kind of power is The kind where you eat the hearts of your enemies. And steal their powers? Yes. Doesn't Kirby do that? No, Kirby eats his enemies and steals their power. <coughs> Burn me. Oh, these guys. Salvo. Three of them. Um, 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 bomb. Um, 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 um. Um. Uh. Got like, got like running with scissors. Maybe. Here, follow me, follow me. Come on, guys, follow me. Ah! Screw you! was a clue. And one of them just died. Yay. And two of them just died. Oh, that's how you tell. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Bitch. Ow. Ah! Now he's low health. And... Blow up. Ow. Oh! Ah! I think it's lazy. He 
has no ribs. That means he has no health. Ah! Now he has dead. Well, deader. Deader. Okay, we're gonna grab the water and then we're gonna be done with this episode. Also, you're gonna probably wanna grab a fairy. Yeah, I, I do grab a fairy. As you can In tell. Fairy internet. Fairy internet. Wow. I didn't know they had Wi Fi. Well, she does. True, but I didn't know the fairies did too. Well, fairies convey the Wi Fi. Ah, they're hotspots. Yup. Nice. So that's how he can transmit Wi-Fi signals that totally aren't telepathic. Yeah. Also, Goddess Cube. Ooh, Goddess Cube that I missed the first time. See, isn't it a good thing that you waited? No, not necessarily. True, but again, if you did miss it the first run... If I'd missed it the first run, I would have just came here, grabbed a fairy, grabbed the water, and gone out. Yeah. Yay! Caught a fairy! Okay, now... I'm gonna put that away, grab the empty bottle of water, scoop the water, wrong frickin' water. Oops. Derp -derp. Pull the water back out. Dump the water. And right into the dang waterfall. Yeah. Scoop it. You got some sacred water. This pure water can heal the wounds of the water dragon. It has mystical properties that cannot be found in ordinary water. And cutscene. So not helping the water dragon. Um, nothing? Well, I know... You know what? Screw the rules. I need to test that theory. <laughs> well, I do have four bottles now. Oh, cool. The fourth bottle, if you are all genuinely wondering, you have to strike a goddess cube to get it, and it's inside the Thunderhead. Oh... <laughs> Well, now we know. Anyways, we're coming up on our time limit, so this is Man the Black Hat. We'll see you next time for more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. First look on Rezzawalkthroughs.com. See you later, folks.